About a month ago I did a video on the wonderful necromancy and lichdom mod for Oblivion, which implements the necromancy system as well as the path to lichdom. Since that video, the mod has added a lot of new features and improvements, but I'd like to go over these in this video. If you've never heard of this mod before, please watch my first video for the rest of the information about it. So over the past few weeks the mod has added new minions, as well as new lich forms, and a few bug fixes. The first new minion is the Abomination, which is like a gigantic spider zombie. It requires a lot of corpses to create, and is a very nice minion. I love that the mod adds new minions like this one, a completely fresh new model. To make it you need a lot of zombie parts, so you'll probably have to raid a bandit camp and dismember at least 10 corpses to assemble it. You then need to cast the Gratia Reanimate spell on the Fabricated Abomination to reanimate it. While we're on the topic of dismembering, the dismemberment system has been improved. Before the body parts had to be picked up individually, and limbs could roll away or get lost in grass, or even clip through the ground and disappear. But now when you pick up a limb, you pick all of them up, which is a really nice improvement. The second new minion is the wonderful Hulking Zombie. This is a very large zombie capable of using equipment. It's another custom model, and if you look closely you'll see a few differences. It's got a sort of bulging eye, as well as a jaw, and the legs are different. It can wield a two-handed weapon in one hand, and a shield in the other, but it cannot dual wield two-handed weapons. It seems capable of using anything, including bows. I'm really happy with the minion. It requires about four corpses to construct, two dismembered corpses, and then two rib cages from butchered corpses. This minion also requires the Greater Reanimate spell. Now we come to the new forms, which are really exciting. So once you attain Lichdom, you can continue to change yourself in a number of ways. The first way is to brew a potion that will burn all of your flesh off. This gives you the appearance of a skeleton, and it also causes some gameplay changes, so it's not purely cosmetic. The change is reversible, so if you want to change between flesh form and skeleton form you can, but it does require the brewing or gathering of some ingredients. Even more amazing though are the new ghostly forms you can take. You can craft a crown from 5 gold nuggets, and when you wear it, you can choose to become a wraith. Becoming a wraith will cause you to leave your body, which then flops onto the ground. While in wraith form you cannot wear much equipment, but you gain immunity to physical damage. Only silver or magical weapons can harm you. At this point you can also choose to become a ghost. The ghost can wear any kind of equipment as you would normally be able to in human form or in lich form. To balance this, the ghost is weaker to magical damage than the wraith is. As for bug fixes, the Alembic crash that I and a few other people experienced is now fixed, and so is the problem of casting greater animate on a skeleton which could result in a bugged skeleton. The bug where your chest piece would be unequipped on entering Lich form is also now fixed. For increased immersion, the Lich form animations have been changed. In Lich form, your posture and animations are like that of a Lich. If you wield the staff, you will also float around like a Lich. I believe the new animations are a mixture of Lich and skeleton animations. Where parts of the Lich animations were incomplete and could not represent everything a player does, skeleton parts were used to fix these gaps. Of all the new features, I have to say that this is now my favourite necromancy mod for Oblivion. Of the new additions, my favourites are the Wraith form and the Hulking zombies. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.